What is the crack everyone? It's Nathan here, aka The Rumbling Kern, and Head Instructor of Kern School of Combat. So before I get into today's video, I recently had a request from some of my patrons to add some tiers to the Patreon. So for those who are interested in doing online lessons with me in Irish martial arts, you'll find a tier for that. Um, and for those who are interested in more ongoing training or training based around their fitness, which is something I've done for well over a decade now, you will find a tier for that as well. Um, so for those who are interested, you will find the Patreon down in the description. And obviously for those who are interested in uh, live in-person classes, you'll find a link in the description for that as well, uh, which will be launching in a new venue um, this coming week. So stay tuned for those who are interested. Now, into today's video. This is a question I see often coming up a lot around blackthorn sticks and uh, people who are purchasing their first blackthorn stick is, should I buy a blackthorn stick that has thorns on it? The very short answer is do what you want. <laughs> the very long answer is yes and no. So it really depends on what you want out of your stick. Traditionally, Irish people uh, who were using sticks for fighting didn't have thorns on them. So for those who don't know, I'll bring up some pictures over here of uh, what blackthorn thorns look like, as well as some pictures of traditional Irish sticks. So you will see, uh, even on this stick here, you see these lumps and bumps are where the thorns originally were. Uh, these have been shaved off for use. Um, now, obviously you don't want a weapon that potentially hurts you. You want a weapon that hurts someone else. So if I had thorns up and down the stick, and this is a short um, kind of mid-length stick, specifically for swinging and stuff, not necessarily a walking stick, and I'll touch on that in a second, but if you had something like this, you don't want to reach for it and impale your hand on a thorn. Now, it is different when we look at walking sticks because walking sticks are purely there for fashion. And for something like that, really it's only this small section of the stick that you're actually going to grab onto. So the only picture I've really been able to find of an antique stick with actual thorns on is this one here of a Canadian soldier with a uh, black thorn uh, swagger stick. So these were very, very common in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s for soldiers who would use these essentially for um, pointing and gesturing with. Um, they're not really used for walking. You'd see with this stick, it wouldn't really support the weight of a man if it was to lean on it, it'd probably break. So to quote, even from the um, from an actual first-hand source uh, from the period, this is what is said around um, people actually using um, thorns on their blackthorn sticks. And thank you to Maxime for this quote. So. The quote here says, the sticks are variously finished. Usually the thorns are left on the shaft, although trimmed back to about one half of an inch in length, especially when the stick is for sale in a city shop. For actual use by rural Irishmen, however, the thorns are often trimmed cleanly off the stick. So that kind of is the quick and short summary that in general use for walking sticks, feel free to keep them on. I know what some people I've seen done will basically keep about a hand's length here, um, clear of thorns, so that way you can hold it up here in various different ways, be it holding the, the knob for walking with or holding here, or as, as you know, most older men are prone to do, have it so you can point around the place, as you'll see uh, generally used with swagger sticks, um, and then have thorns down the rest of it. However, if you intend on using it for fighting or anything similar, I highly recommend getting rid of all the thorns. Sure, it sounds like a cool and dangerous thing to, you know, uh, smash someone in the face with a lot of thorns, but obviously you very much run the risk of reaching the wrong place and skewering your hand with a thorn. And blackthorn, thorns are no joke. If you chat to anyone who works with blackthorn and actually crafts these sticks, they'll tell you they are horrible, horrible things to get skewered with. I've only had a run-in with them, uh, running through hedgerows and it's not fun, trust me. So, like I said, actual practical use for fighting sticks, I wouldn't recommend it. Actual use for walking sticks, feel free. Um, on the swagger stick thing, you will see the tradition of blackthorn swagger sticks still being held in a few different uh, military forces around the world. You will see in the uh, Royal Irish uh, Brigade in the um, uh, British Army, they do still use blackthorn uh, swagger sticks. It is still an ongoing tradition and you do see them used pretty regularly, um, especially for parade. But generally they're swagger sticks, they're usually thinner sticks, not necessarily a walking stick and definitely not fighting sticks. Um, usually finished in a kind of more uh, 
aesthetically pleasing um, way rather than the traditional kind of uh, bark um, plain finish that you'll see with a fighting stick. So yeah, a very quick summary for those um, who are interested. I thought it was an interesting topic, especially one that comes up over and over again, where people are very curious because it sounds really cool. It sounds like something that would, uh, you know, be super deadly and dangerous in a fight. But obviously, um, I've heard people say this in various different martial arts, you don't want a weapon that bites back. Um, it's always a risk. Um, I've seen the same thing said about knives. You don't want a knife where you reach risking it and grabbing the blade. Same thing with a uh, fighting stick. You don't want one where you reach out and it's going to hurt you. So I hope that was an interesting video. Uh, like I said, new tiers in the Patreon if that is of interest to anyone. Um, some fun videos coming up over the next few weeks. If you guys are interested in any uh, videos um, or any topics being discussed, let me know in the comments. And what do you guys think? Uh, do your sticks have thorns on them? Would you like a stick with thorns on them? Um, I know some makers do do it. Um, I know some who don't, but let me know what you think. Uh, you pop in the comments down below. And thank you all so much for watching. If you don't already, please do like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to the channel. I want to try to hit that 5,000 by the end of the year. Thank you all once again so, so much for watching and supporting the channel. Really can't thank you enough. And so long.